The meeting notes system that we'll build today will be in our personal productivity system, not a shared team system. If you want a fully connected team system, then that's linked in the description. This is a Notion build tutorial for those of you who want meeting notes in your personal system. Part one, I'll show you how to build a to-do list, a calendar, and a project hub in Notion. Part two, I'm going to show you how to create your meeting notes template. And in part three, I'm going to show you how to set up your meeting notes hub. If you find this useful, please subscribe. So the first thing we're going to do is create the to-do list. So I'm going to do forward slash data, click on table view here, and I'll click on create a database, click on new table, and I'll just call this to-dos. So we have the to-dos here, very exciting like this. I'll just delete this property as well here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is forward slash data, click on, uh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do forward slash gallery, and we'll do a gallery for the projects here. Click on new gallery and I'll write project here. Then I'll click on these three dots here, click on layout, and I'm going to change this so they're not that big. We're going to change it from the card size of medium to small. We're going to change this from card preview from page content to none. So now it just looks a bit more simple. So here, this will be where we have all of our projects. And one of the projects will be meetings. So this is where we're going to see all of our different meetings. So here we have projects, here we have to do's, and I can just rename this as well to do's and give it a icon as well. There we go, that makes sense. And then the last thing is the calendar. So I'm just going to right click on to do's, do duplicate and call this calendar. Find an icon that makes sense for calendar. That one makes sense. Change this layout from table to a calendar. So now we have a to do's and a calendar and the projects. The last thing we want to do here is ensure that the to do's is talking to the projects. So I'll click on the plus here and we're going to do here a relation. So this relation is basically just saying, hey, I want one database to talk to another. So we want the to do database to talk to projects. So in here, I will search for projects and I probably have a ton of cool projects, I do. So I wanna make sure that it's the one from the meeting notes page, which I can see here, so I'll click on that. And then here we could see show on projects, no limits, blah, blah, blah. So I will not do show on projects. Instead, I'll just do add relation and we will manually build that instead. The last thing we want to do in this to-do list here is to add a filter where the date is empty. So because we have the date, if I add anything in here like blah, and I add a date to it like the 17th, I can see it shows up here on the 17th. But I do not also want it showing up in my to-do list. In my to-do list, I only want to see stuff that hasn't been scheduled. So we are going to add a simple rule here where the filter is where the date, start date is empty. So now if I add anything in here, like example, click on the 17th, so you can see it gets removed from here, but if I click on my calendar, it shows up in here. So welcome to part two. In part one, we built the to-dos, the calendar, and the projects. So if you skip that part, I presume you already have a to-do list system, a calendar, and a project. The reason that we're building this in here, and we're not having a separate note. So instead of having a separate database down here, called meeting notes, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to separate that from our task list. What will happen is we would have way too many different things to check. We have to then check our notes. We would have to go and check our task list in one place. We would have to check our calendar app in another. We'll have to go and check our projects in one place. We'll have to check our meeting notes in another. We'll have to check. It's way too much. We want to be able to find all the information in one place. And I can find that all right here. Having everything I need in the one page will just save me a lot of headaches. So when we're creating a meeting notes template, we want to do that in our task list. So if you don't have a task list already in Notion, then just go back to part one of this video. But what we're going to do here is click on the down arrow here of the task list, not of the project, of the task list, and click on new template. And here you can see you're editing a template in to-dos. So this here will be meeting note, or you can just call it a new meeting, something like that and we can add an icon, which will be there by default. So we can say people, for example, or person. There we go, that one makes sense. And here, what we want to do is say the project here will be default of meetings. Now, the reason that's coming up is because we created this meetings project here. So there's nothing in here at the moment, as you can see, but we want every single time that we have a meeting, it to automatically appear in here. And I'll show you how to do that in the third part of this video. But I'll go back here to this meeting note. As you can see, it's been created in here. I'll click on the three dots and do edit. So in here, this is where we can put all the things that we want to talk about in every single meeting. So this might be agenda. I can do a divide as well. If I want, I can click on these six dots here and do turn into and change it into a header one or a header two, for example. 
So we've got agenda, I can copy that. We might want updates, action items. And because this is for our personal dashboard, we might want any relevant reminders. So bear in mind, like I said at the start, this is for people creating it in their own system. So right now we are not adding a property here where we are adding people and adding them into here because that would be adding them into our own personal productivity system. For example, I have headquarters, which is my personal productivity system. And then we have Colab, which is the all connected system where everyone goes and works in. If people were being invited into headquarters, my personal productivity system, they would be seeing all my personal information, which obviously I don't want. That's why we have Colab where everything is fully connected and fully transparent. So this right now, what we're building, this would be the equivalent of headquarters. It is our personal system, which we're not inviting anyone to. That way they're not seeing any other personal tasks like buy groceries, for example. So they're not seeing them. So part one, we created the to-do list, the calendar and the project. And now in part two, we have created this new meeting in here and we can edit that if we ever want to change the templates for a meeting. This might be obvious to some, but not obvious to others. So I want to point it out. You do not want to add a date for this because you want to have, when you create this, no default date added in here. Otherwise you have to change it every time, which is very annoying. So now we have the agenda, updates, action items, and relevant reminders. So part three, let's set up a meeting notes hub. So what I'll do here is actually click on open and click on new meeting. So let's create a fake meeting and the agenda is talk about blah. That's a great meeting note right there. So now we've got meeting note and by default, it's added the project of meetings. And let's add a date to it like that. And as you can see, it gets removed from here. So now what we want is for it to show up in projects. So if I click on meetings here, as you can see, it does not show up. Now in this projects here, we might not want the created property that doesn't actually make any sense. So, or it's not very useful. So I'll just delete that. So in here, what we are now going to do is show the same database, our task database, but with filters. So we're going to do forward slash data and we'll click on table view. Now this time, instead of clicking on new table, we are going to show, and you can see it comes up here in my recents, the to do's. So to do's, and we want to click on that. And now it is showing up. So we can see here a new meeting and we can see these other two tasks here that are blank and that's these two here. So what we want to do here is add a filter and say that I only want to see stuff where the project is meetings. So if it's the meetings project, then I want it to show up in here. Now we might not want to see to do's up here. So we can click on these three dots here, click on layout in here where we have show database title. I can turn that off. So now we have all of our different meetings in here and I can rename the table here to meetings. And if I click open here, I could see the very useful talk about blah sitting in here. So if I just do another example and instead of adding it here, I'll add it directly in here. Let's say we have a meeting on Friday, click on new meeting, new meeting with John, there we go. Talk about report, there we go, click that away. Now we have that meeting in here. And by default, it shows up in here, new meeting with John. This is super useful. And what we can even do is add a sorting in here. So if you haven't used sorts, basically you click on that and you can say, how do I want to order these? So we want to order these by the date and we can choose ascending or descending. So descending is July 19th comes up first at the top and then July 17th. Now the last thing as you can see to do is to change this from meeting notes because it's no longer our meeting notes. This is our singular dashboard that houses absolutely everything in our entire life. We want everything in the one place. It's going to be way too confusing if you have a separate place where you go to for meetings and meeting notes. We want to build that into our dashboard, just like I've done with headquarters, my personal productivity system. If you want to check that out, then click on this video here. Or if you work in a small team, you will love Colab. It's my template for full team collaboration. The goal is to get rid of as many emails and meetings as possible because you spend 12 hours per week in meetings, which is a lot. Hence, you were probably looking for a system like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.